Violation of these rules will get you executed. Oh. Ah! Oh my god! What's up, everybody? It's the gang Twist coming at ya. And let me introduce you to Experiment Groceries. We all go to the supermarket. That's a given. That is freaking obvious. We all go to the freaking supermarket either every other day, once a week. We have our times where we go to the supermarket. When you go to the supermarket, you're so used to the things that are there, the layout, where uh, certain items are that you constantly always get. You're a okay. You're aware of these things, right? So we go to the supermarket. The only thing is, is that stuff starts to change. And I don't know exactly what is going to change. I don't know if it's little small things. They kind of, you know, when they switch items around, they used to be on this section of this aisle, and now they totally change it to this aisle. Wait over here. Make it super inconvenient, why don't you? It could be something small like that, or it could be something major, where it's like, why? What is going on here? Now, the first thing that popped in my mind when I saw that things change gradually was PT. Basically, whenever you say that things change, or if I notice that things are changing, boop, PT pops into my mind. But, uh, this has nothing to do with PT, not in P uh, PT inspired. Ever so gradually coming into the supermarket. Am I an old man or an old lady? But am I? Because coming into this freaking parking lot, I'm driving like two miles an hour. Come on, people. Are we there yet? Yeah, I think I could have been done with this shopping trip like a long time ago, you know? Probably within the first 10, 15 seconds of you making your way into this parking lot, I would have already been freaking sliding my card, punching in my number. Shopping list E. I need cola pizza taco. Hey, that sounds reasonable. That sounds very reasonable. And I have a flashlight. For safety reasons. This is they always say in your car or vehicle, you gotta have a freaking what? A warm blanket, some water, what? So a first aid kit, flashlight. These are just the things that you need. Hello, ma'am. Sorry to shine my flashlight right in your eyeballs. I'm looking for... Co Why am I even talking to you? I am... Canned food? I... I go to the store. I get the things I need to get. Canned food. Canned food. Canned food. Okay. Well, uh... They got the cheeseburgers right on display. What is this? Is this supposed to be the deli or something? The deli's over there. Why are the burgers right here? Oh, God. Hey, don't I need tacos? Okay, so do I just one at a time, right? Oh, do you do you want this? Are you telling me that you want this? Are you holding your hand out? Just okay. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I appreciate that. Taco done. Pizza and cola. Where do I find cola? Ooh, sauce. It literally said sauce. Okay. Pizza, pizza. Is this cola? No, that's beer. It could be. Nope, that's cola. I'll say it could be hecho en Mexico cola, right? Love that stuff. Even though they say that they had what? Somebody tested the freaking. Is that? Can I do a better job? What? You, they? I, somebody was talking about that. They tested out the freaking sugars inside. Uh. Cola that's manufactured down in Mexico and we all just praise it saying like oh it tastes so good It's because of the cane sugar that's inside it They tested out the shit that's in it and it's literally the same ingredients of the cola that's up here in the states Freaking liars man But it's still it's just like a placebo man. It still is just something about it. All right. Can I slide my EBT card? Did I even pay for anything? Well Miranda, that's what it says on your name tag most definitely. Thank you. I'll be going now. Ah, got my pizza, got my tacos, got my cola. I am ready for a good night. I am ready for a good night. But it's going to take me like six months just to even get home. So I was holding down the mouse for some reason with that. I don't know if I needed to do that. Am I? Donuts and beer. Okay. Um, Did I just jump ahead and okay. 
We just jumped ahead a week. That's all it was. I went back home. Well, actually, you know what it is? It kind of sounds like I'm buying per night of, oh God. Why is the door broken? Miranda, do you realize that you guys have a, a, a malfunction on your door over here? Yeah, I think that really we just freaking uh, buy food daily. We just, we need to get our meals. We head to the supermarket and we go get our freaking meals, man. That's just how we do it, Miranda. What the heck is this? Why, why do you already have groceries bagged up? There's nobody here, Miranda. There's nobody freaking here, Miranda. You need to call your boss and get that looked at, by the way. Okay. I remember beer being right over here. Beer being here, so that's cool. Oh shit, somebody knocked over the shelf. Uh, donut. I'll just take the one on the floor. I'm not trying to impress anybody. I don't really care. That is a giant donut. I can make that bad boy last for two days. Nice. So yeah, gradual changes. I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. But as long as they don't affect me, then I'm good to go, Miranda. Miranda. Why are you looking at me like that? Pay attention to the pizza, Miranda. Oh, I see how it is. You're so skilled. You don't even need to pay attention to the things coming down the freaking belt, do you? All right, Miranda. I'll see ya. And get this door like that. Tell you one thing, I'm not exactly paying attention to the stuff that's around me, like on the outside, I guess. Not really paying attention if there's anybody out in the distance. I'm back. Okay. Donut, sauce, and taco. Now I get to get the sauce. But does it matter which sauce I get? Oh. Oh, okay. So now your freaking street lights are going out. Totally, the door is just falling off. Okay. Fucking coke machine knocked over. Miranda, why are you letting this place go to shit? This is just turning into a hell. Do you like working in these conditions? It's like the people that have the really super messy homes. Do you like living in them conditions? Miranda, I am deeply disappointed. Donut sauce and taco. I don't have a jump. Again, I will take the... Oh, come on. What the hell? The oh, I got my finger on the... What? What the... Oh, I don't know what the hell's going on. For some reason, my to walk backwards is not working. But I will take the one on the floor. I'm not picky. No one else is going to take it. I'll take it. Sauce and tacos. I'll get mustard for my taco. Who doesn't like a good wop of... Or not wop. What was I thinking of? Dollop. Like with a cool whip. A nice dollop of mustard on your taco. Oh my god. Oh my god. The freaking... Uh, the screen right there in the bag. I thought there was like some weird thing in the doorway right there. Oh my god. Okay. There. Got my taco. Miranda. Just no. I, I, I have no words. Miranda, you better take care of this by the time I come back. I don't want to have to be the one to talk to your supervisor. I'll write a letter. And why did I pull in like, am I also changing too? There's all this shit happening. Am I, am I being affected as well? Why, why is my, why did I pull in like this? I have so many questions. Well, you got the doors taken care of. You got the light taken care of. Hmm. Oh no, what the fuck just happened? Miranda. Oh my God. Oh my God. Miranda. Ma'am, you good? <laughs> no, just flat out no. Well, can I? I don't have a list. I don't have a list. Why am I here if I don't have a list? Am I supposed to be coming back here? Oh God, I do not like that. I don't have a list. Why did I even come here if I have no fucking list? Oh my God, Miranda, are you gonna sneak up on me? Oh God. Oh God. Miranda, what did you do? Oh my God. You're not even alive. Oh God. What is this? How do you know my name? The test subject's portfolio, Jordan H. 
104 haven't noticed any of paranormal phenomenons yet. Race human, unemployed. I have a job, thank you. And it's not YouTube. <laughs> Single, has a driver's license. Discovered during the experiment. Favorite products, beer, pizza, and donuts, hell yeah, baby. Has not bought unprescripted products. Has not used toilet. Has bought nine products in total. Okay. Oh my god. Oh! I fucking saw that. Oh my god. 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 I want to go. I want to leave. Um. Fuck you, Miranda. Fuck you, Miranda. I'm calling your fucking stupid. Do I gotta go over there now? Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't want to go over there. Uh, Miranda. Fuck you. Oh, I gotta go through the maze. I gotta go through the maze. What? What am I doing back here? Oh! Oh my god. Don't touch me. Oh. What is this? Site 23 employee guidelines keep track of the test subjects at all times. Server room must... What? Must not be visited by regular staff. Oh my god! Your team is rest restricted from leaving the site during experiment phase. You must comply with your supervisor's commands. Violation of these rules will get you executed! Oh... Ah! Oh my god! Oh... Oh, I wanna go. 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 I don't wanna be here. What the hell is this now? Oh, through the window? Is that what you want me to do? Oh! 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 Wait, what? Okay. Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh my god. Go, 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 go. Can I go this way? I can't. Oh fuck, 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 oh fuck. Miranda, you're still being creepy in there. Oh shit. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hell no. I have no groceries. Get out, get out, get out. Please don't, please don't. Please don't. Please don't. No. Okay, we're back to grandpa status. Oh, I'm all right with this. This was good. This was super good. I freaking love this. This game was made by that name. Where did, oh, because it's an experiment. So we just busted out of this bad boy. We had enough. We fucking finally came to that conclusion, right? We got the information that told us what was happening. So we got out of there. That is the situation right there. So I wonder what it would have been like. I guess it's kind of like trying to expand on the story of the game. I wonder what it would have been like. Uh, or I guess how did it go how did they go about with the experiments once I bought my items and I got back to my vehicle I probably got back into my vehicle and maybe I got like gassed or something where I knocked out instantly right just hit the back of my seat and then that's just it right that's what I'm assuming was the case because if we're confined to that warehouse or wherever the hell we were at then it makes sense that once I got into my vehicle I didn't leave to go anywhere I pretty, pretty much probably just got into my vehicle, started it, it activated some sort of fume to knock me out, and then when they needed me to do it again, I would just wake up, new list in hand, probably new thoughts of like, I need to go shopping, I need donuts, and beer, and pizza, that's what I'm assuming is taking place with this game, but pretty good, I liked it, and I had a good time playing it, that was pretty good, and the spook factor... Oh my god, seeing those things change, just like like a war zone almost, like a riot took place, right? Just doors ripped off, shits busted, freaking coke uh, vending machines tipped over, just everything is messed the hell up. That alone is just taking little increment steps of the spook factor. But then as soon as the power cuts off, 
It's just like zombies or whatever the hell those creatures were. Seeing that, whoever that was, I don't think that was Miranda. I think that was somebody completely different. But seeing that out of the corner of my eye, oh my God, dude. So good. And then the, the, the music, the ambience, so good. That was good. I had a good experience with this game. But I'm going to end it right here. So if you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. And thank you so much for watching this video. And I'll see you. Peace.